roast beeflets. That would be good for Super Bowl Sunday. Hi, I'm Susan. Today I'm going to show you how to make roast beeflets. I don't know if you've ever heard of hamlets, but this is the same thing but with roast beef. So if you like recipes and content like this, please give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Ring that bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. And without further ado, let's get started. All right, I've got my oven heating to 350 degrees. I have got to spray my bacon dish, nine by 13. And I have sliced two packs of the Hawaiian rolls in half along the side. And this is the best kind of knife for doing that if you want a bread knife. Now I've got three fourths of a cup of butter, a stick and a half. To that I want to add one and a half tablespoons of mustard. Now you can use fancy mustards if you want, like Dijon and all. This is what my family prefers. I need one and a half teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Oops. One and a half teaspoons of um, poppy seed. One tablespoon of dried minced onion. And we want to give that a good mix. Put my rolls with the bottom halves. Now I've got a container of um, the thin sliced roast beef and you want to layer half of that over your rolls. Tell you what, you need two. You need two of these uh, containers of the thinly sliced roast beef. Put one layer over your bottom part of your rolls. Now you want a package of sliced provolone cheese. Now you take your second container of roast beef and layer that over the cheese. Now we put our tots back on. And we pour our butter mixture over the top. And help it along. Now we'll put these in our 350 degree oven for 20 minutes and I'll be back. Well, here they are. They look good. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Ring that bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Leave a comment. Tell me what you think. So until next time, bye y'all.